Hello everyone, this is Satya Prakash. Welcome to Coding Knowledge. In this video, I will describe what is public and private repositories in GitHub. So let's begin. Uh, so what uh, we'll discuss in this uh, video, uh, that's I point out uh, what are public and private repositories, uh, steps to create public and private repositories and their difference. So let's go to my browser where I will create, I will show you some uh, real time examples how to use the public and private repositories. So I need to create a new, new repository called uh, second repo. So I will create here new repositories. Uh, I'll mention here the repository name is second repo. So and uh, here I'll put some description it is, it is optional. So I just mention it as this repo is used for development and there is you can see there is two repository of types that is one is public and another is private repositories so uh, public repository that anyone can see their repo and there is no need to get authorized or authenticated user to this github account but you will not be modified this code to access or modify code you have to give that user a proper access in your github account and if you select as a private repo so that means uh, here you have to choose who has to see and modify this code of repo if i choose the private repo then i have to select the users and give them proper access like read and update access so as of now i will select as public repo so i can see here new repository named is second repo and uh, i will initialize a repo with r a readme file in my previous video you can see what is readme file to avoid the empty repo that's why I select as the add a readme option here so create repo here so here the uh, public repo will be successfully created as second repo here so now I'll uh, give some uh, understanding about this public and private repo in depth knowledge so here I'll check my public repository that second repo in other browser without signed in so i'll just copy here the url i'll go to incognito mode of this browser so there i not sign in any other accounts i just uh, click here this uh, repository and here you can see um, so there I, i'll check the some connections issue there so I need to reconnect again. So let's after this reconnect, I will check whether this link is uh, accessible. Uh, this public repo link will be accessible by other users or not. So here, as, as I defined earlier, here I will open as the this uh, rep public repo that is second repo in my incognito mode without sign in any uh, with member. So you can see that uh, here everyone can see those files that is the readme and uh, without signed in or without any authentication or authorization in this image so here uh, if i'll if i'll go to this uh, readme file there there you can see the text inside this readme file is second repo and this repo is used for development but i want to edit but i cannot because you must sign in to make proper changes so that's why i cannot change in this file in this repo content so here edit link is disabled for for, for that reason the user cannot change without signed in so for this special permission is required for from for the github repo who, who has created this repo so so let's i'll this this is all about what is the pr public repo and i will create another i want to create a private repo called so ne same step i will follow there is create a new repository and here i will create a private repository that is my third private repo and uh, here some description i will give this is the deployment purpose 
this repo is specially i mean i will use for uh, deployment purpose that's why i make it as make it as private repo and uh, after this the same uh, i will give as a readme file and uh, create a repository option here so after then you can see the interface after successful creating the my private repository successful created that's my third third private repo and uh, here the readme file is created and here you can see this is the private repo that's why it is uh, optional it will be get as the batch like batch like a private because it's a private repository so here the same i'll just copy the private uh, repository link and in my in other browser that is uh, incognito mode browser i'll open and i will paste here this uh, private repository url without signed in so let's see what happen uh, in the page so here you'll see page not found that is 404 because he it is a private repository and the user uh, the without any signed in or without any authenticated and authorization the user cannot see the repo uh, interface with its uh, files like readme file so that's the difference between a uh, public and private repositories uh, if you want user so as per described uh, here you got a page not found message here 404 okay so if one user called uh, for example abc signed in and wants to see the files present present in that private repository but the user cannot access that private repository for this the admin of that private repository that means who created this private repository gives the permission uh, to that abc user those permission are for the see the repository the admin will give the read permission to the abc user and for update the changes the admin will give right permission to the abc user so that's all about guys uh, what is the difference between private and public repository and what is the public repository and what is private repository in depth so go to my presentation um, so see so here um, public repository is there is no need to get authorized or authenticated user to this github repo the user cannot modify the code in repo without permission and in private repository there is a need to get authorized or authenticated user to this github repo and the user cannot modify the code in repo without permission and public repository url uh, the user can see the file but cannot modify and private repository the user without signed in cannot see the interface of uh, github repo and its uh, files as well so this is my youtube channel coding knowledge here you need to um, subscribe it to get the up to date uh, knowledge on .NET, .NET core angular mbc sql server github uh, and devops series and uh, so what uh, we learned till now uh, in this video that uh, know about public repository and private repository and uh, what the steps to create public and private repository and their differences so thanks thanks for guys thank you for listening and have a great day